Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been quite a long time since I've actually done like a game review. I believe it was actually uh, J Stars Victory something. I can't remember. But needless to say, I'm back for a moment and we got a new game that I found or one of my buddies actually sent to me. It's called It's Time to Get Out from the Solar System. Here's all the keys and all the controls right here. So. I have no real idea what it is. Obviously, something about trying to get out, trying to leave the solar system because crap's hitting the, you know, crap's hitting the fan. Stuff's getting hairy kind of out of it. So, we'll try it and see what it's about. So, first off, let me uh, explain. My name's Aaron, in case you haven't seen or heard or watched any of my videos. I usually play indie games, try to get some new stuff going on. Uh, I usually uh, just try different things. So, this is a new indie game that... Uh, found and I like to use the uh a lot as you can tell so we're gonna try this out see what it's about and hopefully I won't tear up or just not do good at all the entirety of it well then I got a button solar system 2908 pew, pew. today sunny well it looks kind of dark because we are in the universe Ooh, flying in a... But as always, the sun is rapidly aging. It began to grow 600 years ago. Scientists slightly miscalculated in a few billion years. People moved to the space stations orbiting the planets. Pew, pew. At close orbits are civilized cities. Space cities. Space cities. On the distant orbits live criminals, pirates, and other rabble and riffraff. Pew! The cities are overpopulated. The level of living is low. Sounds like 40k all over again. Constant attacks by pirates do not make life better. Pooh! 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 It's time to get out from the solar system. Pew! Pew! Guys. Gills. Guys? I don't know how do you say that. Boo! Boo! Many people have already moved on this planet. Oh, it got bigger. Oh, I did not look that. I was just straightly looking at the words. I need to get to the artificial wormhole leading to the star system where the planet Gaia is located at. I didn't read all of it. It is a pity, however, that my ship is not equipped to warp travel. I have one gun. No other guns. But this equipment can be found in the warehouses of the space cities. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Unfortunately, I do not have enough money. I almost broke. I almost broke. I am almost broke. I can get the money. Dot, dot, dot. By being a pirate? By being a filthy mongrel? As a former military man, I have the right to shoot down the pirate ships. Oh, because I was former... Former... A military man. Moreover, I get paid for doing this. I have contracts with every owner of the space stations. Man, that's convenient. Or should I go to the pirates? Decisions. They promise good money to make everyone who join to join them and will work for them, killing citizens and looting their cities. But the pirates' money, in most cases, is only in words. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to work with them. Approach the. Far approaching the far orbit, where they are. So I wonder how long it actually takes to get into this game. It takes. It's been taking a little while to get. Oh, Schnikes, Batman! Is it like Galica? It, it feels a little bit like Galica. Okay, this is this is really just not. Oh, that one takes more shots to get rid of you. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my gosh, the controls are so sluggish. Ah, my goodness. Okay, guys, if I had to read through all that, I would not be too happy. Okay, so this is like Galica. Oh my goodness, how do I pass this point? Alright, let's see what we got here. Music, nothing. Okay, well, this is. Come on. Oh my goodness. Okay, the fact that I cannot escape the intro and I have to reread it if I die 
makes this less appealing almost immensely. And the fact that I can't alterate my ship's abilities to my ship's ability to move at a faster rate makes it a little bit more hassleful than I'm already discovering. Graphics are lacklusterful as is, but I mean it is an indie game, so I gave that benefit of a doubt. But what I expected was I can deal with controls. Actually, no, I'm in the wrong area. I can deal with graphics being lackluster, or I can deal with graphics, you know, not being compared to a AAA game, obviously. I mean, I don't expect that. I expect them to look okay. You know, I can deal with pixelated graphics. Like, I can deal with original games like Final Fantasy VII or any Super uh, Nintendo game as it is. I can deal with that sort of graphics connotations. But, controllers have got to be solid. you got to make up for what you can't... What you can't control graphics wise, you gotta make up for the controls part. And this just, look how fast I'm moving. And I have a lag in moving it. That lag isn't bad, it's just I wish I could alter it, or alter my speed of my ship. And my bullets I can deal with that speed too, but if the ships are moving faster than mine and I'm getting a lot of angles, I need a ship that can move faster. And the, the biggest, biggest bone in this game right now is this part right here where I've already went through the intro once, but now I'm having to go through it again. And I can't escape it, I've already read it. And so I just sit here reading, doing nothing. And the planet gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And if I have contracts with other places, do I, I mean, that doesn't really necessarily make sense. How do I actually contact the pirates? They just automatically come shooting out at me. So what if I was like, oh, hey, I want to just work with pirates instead. How do I initially engage conversation with them if they're already shooting at me before I have a chance to initiate a conversation? And the music could really, could really be better. Could really be better, honestly. I mean, you, you hear that? You hear that music? That's just a pain. <laughs> Okay, this is this is terrible. And watch, as as soon as the gameplay really begins, I'll probably die sooner than I will anything else. And if I have to go through this again, that just makes the game a lot less entertaining. Because don't get me wrong, I'm not a, I'm not a skilled player. I I don't know what to expect from this game. The game doesn't give much directions besides you can move. See what I mean? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I mean, Galica, you could move faster. Let's see what this is about. If I just hold down the shoot button, I can get most of them, but... Oh, he can still shoot for, shoot me from off screen. That's kind of crappy. Let's see what we're going to do here. Well, this is okay. They're kind of going in a symbiotic path. It doesn't really alter from their goal, but I can't move like their bullets are f like I guess that's part of the game where you get to upgrade your ship to make it faster and make your bullets go faster and have more ammunition or something, but it's super sluggish right now. And I don't know. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I literally read what they said that I didn't mean to. The cradle of, hum of humanity. Earth has dead many years ago. Global warming has not left her a single sign of life. Now it looks more like Venus. Well, yes. Yes, it does. But is it inhospitable? I guess so. No wonder that they were called sisters with Earth. What? No wonder that they were called sisters with Earth. Now they are just not... Now, now they are not just sisters. They are twins. Wow. That relevant bit of information is kind of meh. Let's see what the shop does. Um, okay. Oh, I got some pointages. All right. Standard gun. Let's see if I can. Ooh. Drag and drop items to the thing. Oh, okay. It's a hundred thousand dollars. Here we go. All right, we boost our speed. Huh. 
not much of a selection here. All right, let's let's try this game for what it is. Okay, well, okay, I, I'll give it this credit. The speed increase makes it a lot, a little bit more doable game-wise. I mean, it's a significant game. It's a significant speed or a significant increase. Ah, you jerk. What? Come on. You could just stop in mid. That, that's bollocks. Let's just kill these guys. Forget them and their unsavory characteristics. All right, let's try it again. So, obviously, you can just build your ship in the game as you kill more of these dudes. You can increase your ship's ability for speed, as I have done. Okay, am I... This is... This is... This is junky. Junky! You can also increase your weapons. You can get a small shield once you get enough money into it. But... Oh my god, you can still shoot off screen. This is not fun as much as I wanted it to be. Ah, I died. Okay, well that was tough enough as it was. Alright, so. What I've gathered from the game is you can go to multiple areas so far. Let's go try this area. Let's see what happens. As you kill these guys. Oh, snikes, man. I need a, I need a better gun. Need a better gun. Okay, we got one done. Okay, they shoot mines. Okay, so the 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 enemies get obviously tougher as you get one further down in the game. Ah, oh, goodness, get off of me! Ah, oh, oh no, all the mines are following me! Oh my goodness, this is this is interesting. Only not really. Oh my goodness, this is so tough when they're all following me. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not good at this game, but let's see what kind of man. I didn't make any money. I Killed things do I have I guess I have to kill them all in the game in order to make any headway for money wise All right, so the variety of enemies is you know pretty good so I give it that Though their damage is <laughs> It's kind of like, man, it's, it's really tough. You're going to have to get some, some skills going on here in this game. It's not, so far it's not bad. Just the lack, I mean, of really, what? It's a free, free play. Like you just got to, your goal is just to move about and do stuff, I guess. Uh, there's really not much of a story, I guess, besides you're trying to get out of the system itself. You don't make money unless you obviously beat the areas. So we're going to try. I'm just trying to different areas to get a good feel of the bosses. Like I said, once you get the some of the perks, I believe, like the speed perks and stuff, it makes it a more interesting game and a more capable game. The music, though, is is could be more to be desired honestly but the gameplay is becoming more solid like my first previous dislike of the game coming with the slowness of it it really brings it back I'm retracting my first dislikement of the slowness of the space of the game so with that being said when you get expansions, obviously on your engine and stuff like that, and your weapons, it makes it more doable, the game anyway. I guess the first part, you just gotta be better than other things. I didn't like how slow it went, so that was the first thing I went to do, was change the speed of the game. Not the game, but the ship itself. I don't know how long these levels last either, so, and it doesn't seem like you rack in money. It doesn't give you a point variation or money amount that you can get from, or you can figure out, okay, if I destroy these tiny ships, then I'll get this amount. It's kind of, I don't know. And then these ships, I get a larger amount because obviously they're tougher and they rely or require more hits to kill. Ah, I got hit too many times. These guys are jerks. I don't like them. Sorry, I pitch voice, but... Ah, I got killed. All right, I had 38 
thousand last time. I, I still don't have that. It doesn't tell you how many more waves you got. It doesn't really tell you you have to complete the missions. It just doesn't tell you very much. Seems. All right. So what I'm grabbing for this game is it has potential. I like this system where you have to upgrade in order to make your ship better. But at the same time, it's like, oh, I'm traveling to Mars now. All right. So the exit also, you can't just pause the game and go back to the main menu. You you got to exit the game entirely. And pause the menu. It doesn't bring up any of that. The story doesn't really, it's not really informative. But controls, like I said, once I got past the first part of not understanding, like, the speed and developing your ship's engines, its supplies, its this and that, weaponry, its shields and that, it, it got a little bit better and the gameplay could be more solid in that regard. So it, it builds into that. But the lack of understanding how many waves you're going to be dealing with, how you acquire money and the way to do it. I said just killing them so I figured you'd get points per killing them so you could level your guy up as you completed or either not necessarily completed the uh, uh, area but you kill the people obviously if you're going to complete the area you need to know how much you got to go further and at what point do you end and, and if it's the case then how otherwise it just feels like an endless cycle of enemies coming at you and you just get for me I got tired some of the fact that I had to kill so many enemies and not know at what point was I going to be finished or not? But, like I say, the the mechanics of the game are significantly better than the fact you can upgrade your ship. And so that's cool. Uh, just, I uh, wish it was a tad bit more informal. And especially starting over like I had to do to get past that level. And the lack of information is really hurtful. Especially if you're not going to enhance or concern yourself with the graphics. You've got to work on a solid mechanic for the uh, the game's ability to handle, maneuver, and that sort of stuff, and inform me a little bit better, and also give me the option to skip it, or skip certain aspects, especially if I don't care enough about the story to continue on with it, or if I've already played it before and I want to skip that part. So, with that being said, I would love more options in the menu and that sort of stuff, but as it is, if it, it was, it costs I think a dollar forty nine. So the price is not bad for the game of itself. I mean, if you don't mind these sort of games, I enjoy like Raiden Project and several side screw shooter uh, ships, Galaka and stuff. But if you're gonna buy some like that, you or you want a game similar to that nature, and this one is similar to that, I would recommend just sticking to some of the main classics, uh, or you know, just finding better deals on games. This one. It's not a bad purchase, but I just would not. I didn't find any enjoyment out of it. Like, there's so more. There's so many more side screw, uh, side scrolling shooter fighter jet plane games. So many more. Like I said, stick with Galaka or any of those games, and you'll be exactly in a better situation than this one. In that regard, because this one, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you. Like I said, this is you. If you get a fancy for it, I would not recommend it playing it. There's so many more better chances or better games out there this style or genre of game. If you liked it, you know, give me a like on the video if you liked this and you thought it was informal or whichever. Leave a comment if you have something to say about it or something I may have missed about the game that you may have seen. Um... Also, check out some of my other videos. I don't do uh, reviews very often, but there's one or two on there. And also, I do game series. So, check those out. Let me know what you feel and think about in the comments below. And hopefully, next time, I'll have a video up sooner. And till then, I will see you guys. So, keep it classy and don't be nasty.